um, the car's idling like a thousand. But normally it's like 1100, maybe close to like 12 a little bit. I feel like. So it kind of feels a little rough, you know? So I'm not sure. Maybe there is one of the hoses is like ripped somewhere and I just can't see it. So maybe I should just pull the hoses and see. Or, you know, get it on the lift and maybe look from underneath or whatever I have to do. But I definitely want to get this check engine like cleared off my car because that's the only thing that's on there for. And like I said, it's for P0411. If you guys are S2K guys and you've dealt with this before, please let me know some of the things that you guys had to deal with to get rid of it. I changed the pump. I changed the solenoid. I changed the hose that uh, that connects to the solenoid. Um, so the only thing I could just think of is just like probably just another hose that's just messed up or something I don't know what is good guys welcome back to the channel it's your boy Phil today we got something cool something special going on if you guys are watching me right now that means you probably watched me from the last video and you're probably saying to yourself why are you still in the same position that you left the last video off in because I'm starting the video off in the same position <laughs> but um, I got some new stuff in for the car I'm actually gonna be dying the seats red in this car I've always wanted to do it um, I've always thought about doing it, but I just never got around to doing it, and I'm going to officially try today. So I came to my parents' house, and then I'm going to show you the stuff that I just picked up. My two seats in the S2000, as you guys know, my S2K has full red interior. It came with full red interior, but the seats are black. So I've been doing a little bit of research where you can dye the seat. Now, I don't know if you guys remember from when I had my first S2000, I used to always say to you guys, like, yo, I'm going to just dye the seats. I'm going to just dye the seats. So, with this being said, I'm going to try it and see if it works. If it doesn't work, then it is what it is. I'm going to replace the seats anyway. But I just want to try. I want to see if it would work. I feel like it's something that I've always been wanting to do and I never did it. So now I'm going to try it and see. So, let's get into the video. I actually picked up some red dye. Comes with all the instructions and everything on the back for what you have to do. I went to the store, picked up some alcohol to clean up the seats just to make sure there's no like oils or anything left back on the seat. Um, then I also went and picked up the sponges um, just so that way I'm able to get in like the small crevices and things like that. But they say that you could use like microfiber tile, towels or whatever to, you know, lay it down on the seat. So they say not to do it in like crazy, you know, amounts. You do it in small doses or whatever, like, you know, coats. And I'm going to try it. So. The first thing I'm gonna do is clean the seats up and then after I clean the seats up, we could get into actually dying the seat. So right now I'm actually using the passenger seat as a, I guess a test dummy. And then if it comes out good, then it does. If it doesn't, it is what it is. <laughs> so right now I'm just using the alcohol to like, you know, get the seat clean. I don't think it's going to be that hard. From the reviews and stuff that I've seen from like other people doing it, I feel like it should come out pretty good. Okay, so now that I've basically cleaned the whole entire seat with alcohol, you know, make sure there's nothing left back on it or anything for it to not seat right. We should be good to start with the next process. Like I said, I'm gonna let it just dry for a little bit. And then, you know, work our way into the next section as in, you know, trying to lay down some of the red onto the seat. If it don't, like I said, if it don't work, I can't be mad at myself. I paid 30 bucks for it, but I have faith. The website that I got it from, I'm not going to say just yet until I see how everything turns out and then I'll let you guys know. But um, the website that I got it from, it was like specifically the S2000's red seat color. So that's why I got it. I know this looks crazy, but this is how I saw them do it. So you just do thin layers for the beginning. And then as you keep going, the coats start to get darker. So 
right now what I did was I just took something to put the paint in and work it, work my way into it, smooth it out evenly. This is probably going to be the hard parts, which is like the insides, but we'll work with that. But you guys probably won't be able to pick it up a little bit because, you know, the seat is black. But I, from what I'm looking at, I can see the red. All right, guys, so now I'm laying the uh, second coat. So now you could kind of see the red popping up just a little bit more. But I'm trying to evenly do this without, you know, getting too much on one spot. So I just wanted to show you guys some of the progress. This is too. I let it sit for a little bit. I did a video for you guys. And now I'm working on the seat again. Also, right, I know you guys have seen me post it a couple times. Your boy started a second channel. If you really support me, you're going to go over there and rock with that second channel. All right? So make sure you guys go check out my second channel. It's more lifestyle, travel stuff. You know, fun. Not so much car related because sometimes it gets hard with the car stuff, especially, like, if you're not, like, modifying your car, like, every day. So... You know, I just want you guys to go check that out. Hope y'all, so it's actually the next day and um, the seat isn't coming out the way I want it to. Um, at first I knew I was doing it wrong because then I reread the instructions. So you're supposed to dab it onto the seat if you're using the sponge method. Um, so after like the first time, you know, the first coat, I've been sponging it onto it, but it's still not taking to the black, I guess. So I'm noticing that like most of the guys who've been like dyeing their seats red, they're either like white uh, seats or like like a lighter color seat is not like black seats so the red is picking in but it's like it's gonna take way more coats of like um the dye to like for it to like fully set but i'm also noticing that the seat is kind of more like orangey red instead of like that bright red that's inside the car so i feel like it's gonna be a fail but i'm still gonna keep trying until like the whole thing runs out and then you know after that i'll just probably end up buying myself some seats but um, I didn't record this because it kind of just like spur of the moment, but um, I actually pulled the um, the, the, the uh, air box and like some of the hoses off of the S2K because after I changed the uh, like I guess it's like a vapor canister or, or it's something like that like a, some, some, I don't really know the exact term but I'm going to show you guys is this little mechanism here. I thought that after I changed this my check engine light should have been good and it will go away but then it popped back up again. So then I was like, bro, it's got to be a hose, it's got to be a hose, it's got to be something. So I took apart the air box, and after I took apart the air box, I've noticed that this hose here is all chewed up. So I'm thinking and I'm hoping that this is my issue, because this is one of the hoses that lead it to the canister. And then it's like another, um, like, I don't know what kind of, like hard it is i'm not like i'm a 100 percent mechanic like i'm a youtube mechanic but it goes to another little piece that's like a pump or some type of like electrical box that i guess flows the air right let's just say that and this hose was connected to it so this part was towards the butt and then this part was kind of like near you know the air box or whatever so then i was looking at it and i'm like when i when i was putting everything back i'm like whoa it's, there's a hole in here so then i was like yo maybe that's where it's leaking from because all the other hoses on the car it looked good i checked it like i kept checking i kept checking I, i'm gonna check again but i kept checking and i'm like almost 100 percent sure it's this i'm hoping it's this all right i've been tracking this thing down ever since i got this car and it's been killing me um, I got the, I had changed the O2 sensor so that uh, check engine light portion of the check engine light was gone now I have this 
So I'm hoping it was this. I'm gonna show you guys a little closer look because I'm pretty sure it's not picking up on camera. You guys see here, it's a hole here. So I'm thinking it was rubbing up against the like belt or something like that because it wasn't in place. But it's because I couldn't see it because it's underneath the box. So now that I think I found whatever the issue was, I'm just gonna buy like a long hose and then just see if like I could just replace some of the other ones too. But this whole piece here was chewed up. So I'm hoping that this was my actual issue. All right, so now let's head off to uh, AutoZone and see if we can find this hose. If they don't have it, then I know I'm hoping maybe, uh, what's the name, Home Depot might have it. All right, so I just picked up the new hose. I extended it just a little bit, just so that way I could have extras. And yeah, we should be able to, you know, be back on the road. I'm hoping this clears my check engine light. Please clear my check engine light. But I'm about to uh, go get some french fries because Vanessa wants some french fries. So anytime, you know, I step on the road, I always make sure wifey got food because <laughs> that girl love her some french fries boy i don't know about y'all girls but that's my wife's guilty pleasure right there french fries she all tore up <laughs> so you guys see that box that's right down there it's like right behind that wire that box right there that's where it was ripped at so i'm hoping once I put the new hose on there, that will complete this whole saga of trying to figure out where this check engine light is from. Alright, so if this doesn't check it, I don't know. I'm going to have to just keep checking the hoses as I go. Alright, so I finished putting back all the uh, hoses and everything like that. So, I'm going to scan it. And see if it'll go away. So right now, I'm trying to see... Alright guys, so, like I was saying to you before, um, seat is basically, I'm on like coat, what, maybe seven or eight, but it's like, but it's like, the black, like obviously like the chair was black originally, but the black is like really, really hard to cover, so like if I dim it, you kind of can see where like the black is still seeping through in certain points, like obviously the chair is majority red now but like it's not as clean as like flush as I would want it to be so with my opinion I think I'm probably going to need like a couple more of these bottles to like really get this one color um because on the website it said eight ounce would be able to dye two seats so I bought the eight ounce bottle for like 32 dollars but it seemed like it took the whole eight ounce just to even do the one seat so, I mean, I'm still going to keep trying. I'm not going to give up on it just yet, but, you know, I want to see if I could get this chair to be fully red, and then I'll know for sure going forward what I need to do on the other chair. That's why I did the passenger side first, because it's normally just me and the S2000 anyway. So, I was like, if I have to drive without a passenger seat, then I'll do that. But once it dries up, like, I've already tried it and seen, like, it doesn't wear off or anything like that. Or, like, you know, it's not going to stain onto your clothes. So... You know, like I said, I'm going to keep trying, try to get it to, like, one even color. But for right now, it's, like, you know, still, I can still see black, you know, seeping through. Okay, so after adding my last uh, coat to the seat, um, not really last coat, but I added one more coat to the seat. Um, the color is starting to pick up just a little bit. Like I said, I think I'm just going to need a little bit more um, of this red dye, and then I think I'll be fine. But I'm starting to feel like maybe the spray paint method where you pour the liquid, the, the dye, into like a spray gun and maybe spray the seat, that might be a little bit easier. It might sit better because it'll be evenly spread. I feel like when you're sponging it with like, you know, dabbing it on the seat, it did cover better and it did, I would say, seat better than when I was kind of like layering it on. Um, but I feel like the spray method might work easier. So I might try that after I do this one seat. I'm gonna work on this one seat and see if I can get it to be one color. And then if I like the outcome of it, then I'm just gonna, you know, do the other one. But I am looking to get some other, maybe like red brides for the car, or maybe even switching my interior to black, you know, like, 
black dash and everything we'll see i don't know yet but um i do really kind of like the all red look because i've always wanted it but now that i have it it's kind of like eh, i don't really care for it anymore but that's just me in a nutshell but um i was able to clear the check engine light on the car but obviously like you have to drive it for a little bit for it to um clear and like see if it'll pop back up again so tomorrow i'll take the car for a drive and see if the check engine light is gone for sure um so yeah this is where i'm left off with the seat i don't want to prolong this video as much as i want to but um yeah that's pretty much it for today's video so if you guys did enjoy what you saw today and like my little diys and things that i'm trying make sure you guys leave a thumbs up for your boy smash the like button and drop a comment and don't forget to subscribe all right so i'll catch you guys in the next one peace